Hi everyone, welcome to the channel. Today we are talking about the best books I have about mermaids. These are all books that I recommend that you get if you are really interested in mermaids, sirens, harpies, creatures like that. So first of all we have Mermaids, The Myths, Legends, and Lore by Sky Alexander. I really liked this book because it starts off with the origins of mermaids and then dives right in into pretty much any info about mermaids throughout the world. Mermaids of the ancient world, European mermaids, sightings, hidden meanings about mermaids. I think they also included some theories and I really liked this book because it seemed to have information that I couldn't really find in other books. Like whenever I get a book regarding creatures that are in the water, if mermaids are ever mentioned, it's pretty vague, but I really care more about the myths, legends, and lore. I love learning about the actual information regarding mermaids, and I just really, really enjoy mermaid mythology. And the fact that people to this day still report mermaid sightings is just like really spooky to me. I really love learning about this stuff. It's just so cool to me. Mer People, A Human History is probably one of the best books I have on mermaids, honestly. I didn't think I would really like it when I got it. I flipped through it and I was like, yeah, I don't vibe with this. But after I read it, I was like, oh, this book is phenomenal. It starts off with like mermaid history and the meanings behind mermaids regarding Greek and Roman beliefs, but also of the early Christian church. Because in case you didn't know, mermaids really are not for kids. Like, mermaids, sirens, harpies, they're not really for kids. Like, they are very much adult creatures. And I found it really interesting that they dived into that topic because, not to like, get off track, but I really don't like when there is mermaid movies made and the mermaids are really friendly and they're really cool and they're very kid-friendly. I don't like that because Mermaids, at the end of the day, are a sex symbol, and they are man-eating women. So, um, I have no clue why that has turned into a kid-friendly version for TV. So I appreciate this book with keeping things uncensored and actually talking about the history of mermaids. And on top of that, they included a lot of nice illustrations, and then after the history, it pretty much goes into, like, sightings and other things that were found throughout the years regarding archaeology, but some of the mermaid sightings are written really in depth and they're kind of creepy. I know you could sit here and say, mermaids are just manatees, I don't believe you. I don't care how intoxicated you are, if you are on a boat and a manatee pulls up next to your boat, I don't think you're gonna say, oh my goodness, that is a mermaid. She is so stunning. I don't think so. Next up, we have Treasury of Folklore, Seas and Rivers, Sirens, Selkies, and Ghost Ships. This book dives into pretty much any folklore they could find regarding water around anywhere in the world, but it's not focused on mermaids. It's focused on, yes, mermaids are in it, but there is a lot of other creatures that are included. I'm pretty sure the Kraken is actually in this book. So are a few other water creatures. It's not a deep dive of every creature, but it is good enough so that there is, like, a story about each creature in the book. The Loch Ness Monster, Selkies, Water Horses, and a few other creatures. Actually, a lot of creatures are in this book, but the ones that I mainly look for in stories are Water Horses, Selkies, and Mermaids. I don't know why, but those three just really make me really happy. I don't remember if harpies are included in this book, but I'm pretty sure they might be. Next up is Seafaring Lore and Legend. I just got this book recently, and it is really packed with information. I'm pretty sure it includes just about any monster in the water that you may have been thinking about. Like, there is stuff in here that I never even heard of before. If you were looking for illustrations, though, of mermaids or of any other creatures, it's not going to be in this book, though. Next up, we have Seduction and the Secret Power of Women, The Lure of Sirens and Mermaids. I really liked this book because the illustrations in it are so pretty, and the book is really in-depth regarding mermaids and sirens. Also, 
they mention Lilith and how she might be like the mother of the sirens. I think this book also talked about a theory that mermaids are maidens that were thrown overboard on ships and when they drown in the water they grew tails and became mermaids and that's why they seek revenge on men who are sailing the seas. But this is why I like to have multiple books on the same topic because some authors have more information than others or the information is different based off of the mythology that you're reading into. And next up we have Magical Mermaids and Water Creatures by DJ Conway with a foreword from Sky Alexander, the author of Mermaids, the Myths, Legends, and Lore. This book pretty much goes through each creature of the water, like selkies, mermaids, the kraken. Towards the end they also have mermaid and water spells, which is really useful if you are interested in doing any of that. The book doesn't have every single water creature, and although I really like it, I love to give critique sometimes, and although it's a really good book, it does not have an index, which really bothers me, because there are topics sometimes that you just want to look for in a book, and if you can't get to it by going to an index, it's kind of frustrating. And lastly, we have The Sirens, Monsters of Mythology, but this book is basically, I'm pretty sure it is actually meant for children and teaching them the story of the sirens and how they were bird people. Towards the end of the story, they mention how we could still hear the sirens sometimes when we're out on the water because of the whistling and how it might sound like music. And I think it's a really, really pretty book. I think it's really nice. I'm not really interested in reading full stories about mythical creatures. Like, I'd much rather be able to read the lore without having to actually read every single word. But if you're really into, like, a storybook about particular creatures, then this would be really good. I don't know if this makes any sense, but, like, this book is, like, a storybook, you know? Like, it tells you a story written like a storybook, which I'm okay with. I just love those books that are just information and less story. Like, if I wanted to read a novel about mermaids, I would find some author who wrote a novel regarding mermaids, right? Like, if you want to read about wizards and you want a wizard story, you would go find Harry Potter or another storybook. I bought this not knowing it was a storybook, I don't believe it came with a preview when I bought it on Amazon. I just saw that it had sirens on the title with some bird people, and I was like, yep, that's what I want. So then I bought it. But yeah, that is all I have to say for today. I will see you guys in the next video. If you are interested in supporting the channel, you could donate to my PayPal, Cash App, or you could visit my Amazon wishlist. You could also subscribe to the channel turn notifications on, like the video, leave a comment, and with that, I hope everyone has a really nice day. I also hope these recommendations were really, really useful. I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!